हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोहर सर्कल इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एनालिटिकल मेथड फॉर कंप्यूटिंग द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेसेस एंड शेयर स्ट्रेसेस ऑन इंक्लाइंड प्लेन वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट ऑल दीज स्ट्रेसेस दीज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेसेस एंड शेयर स्ट्रेसेस ग्राफिकली आल्सो सो दैट ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दी स्ट्रेसेस इज कॉल्ड मोहर सर्कल Uh, Mohr circle is basically represent principal stresses and uh, it is useful for visualizing the relationship between shear stresses and normal stresses acting on various inclined plane on any stressed body we can consider here different cases we will draw uh, different uh, we will draw mohr circle for different condition so uh, here uh, the first condition for the mohr circle for drawing the mohr circle is uh, for two like stresses here you can see a diagram which is showing the stress system here uh, we are considering uh, both the stresses sigma x and sigma y are tensile stresses and uh, uh, on that inclined plane we have to find out the normal stress and tangential uh, and uh, normal stress and tangential stress and uh, if we resolve all the forces normal to this inclined plane we will get this equation that is sigma equal to sigma x cos square theta plus sigma y sin square theta you just go through uh, my previous lecture that is stresses due to the state of biaxial stress you can easily get or you can easily understand the process to find out this equation or you can easily uh, understand this diagram also so you just go through my uh, previous lecture that is stresses uh, due to state of biaxial stress so uh, after fi after finding this equation after resolving all the forces normal to the inclined plane we will get this equation and uh, in this equation if we put cos square theta equal to 1 by 2 1 plus cos 2 theta and sin square theta equal to 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2 theta we will get this equation here is the equation you can see in this slide uh, this uh, we will get this equation after putting the value of cos square theta and sin square theta and the final equation what we will get that is sigma equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma my, sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta this will be the final equation for the normal stresses similarly if we resolve all the forces in tangential direction we will get the equation uh, for the tangential stress shear stress tau that is minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta so these are the equations uh, these equation are the equation of the circle in parametric form with angle 2 theta and here if we simplify this equation if we square this equation and add this equation then we will get the equation final equation will be sigma minus sigma x plus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau square equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square this is the simplification of the equation and finally we will get this equation so here if we consider the sigma average is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and the uh, another parameter that is r if we consider this r is equivalent to under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square we will get this equation uh, sigma minus sigma average square plus tau square equal to r square this equation is the equation of the circle where the sigma and tau are the coordinates we are considering sigma and the tau are the coordinate for the equation and the radius of the circle is uh, 1 by 2 sigma x minus sigma y and its center has the coordinate that is sigma equal to sigma average and the uh, shear stress tau equal to 0 so we can represent these normal stresses and tangential stresses uh, through mohr circle also so to construct the mohr circle uh, we have to take uh, 
normal stresses or we can we have to draw these normal stresses on uh, horizontal axis and uh, the tangential stresses we take as the ordinate or we draw these tangential stresses on vertical axis if we take uh, normal stresses positive so we have to draw these uh, normal stresses right side of the origin and the tangential stresses uh, uh, positive in downward direction and the angle 2 theta is positive when we take it as counterclockwise. So before uh, uh, drawing the Moha circle, I'll uh, show you how to take the sign convention for this. So uh, when uh, the tensile stresses are positive, if we are taking tensile stresses are positive, then it should be plotted to the right side of the origin O. Similarly, if we are taking compressive, so uh, so compressive will be negative and it is plus and it is plotted uh, to the left side of the origin O. And tangential stresses, uh, if we are taking positive, when it give anti-clockwise rotation of the element and it plotted downward direction or below the axis. Similarly, if tangential stress is clockwise rotation, then it will be negative and it is plotted above the axis. Uh, you can see in the Mohawk circle diagram and uh, uh, angle theta is positive when it is in anti-clockwise direction. So this was the sign convention for the Mohawk circle. For drawing the Moha circle, uh, we have to consider an origin O. So, from that origin O, measure OA and OB which is equal to sigma x and sigma y to some scale to the right side of the origin. And we are taking these stresses as tensile stresses. So, it will be plot on the right side, right side of the origin. Now, locate the point C. At the point P average equal to 1 by 2 sigma x plus sigma y and uh, here tangential stress will be 0. So after plotting C, take C as the center which is the midpoint of the AB and take CA or CB as the radius and draw a circle. Take CA or CB as the radius and make a circle at center C draw a line CD at an angle 2 theta in same direction as normal to the plane is making with the direction of sigma x or uh, 2 theta we are taking as positive so it will be in anti-clockwise direction with the sigma x. Now from point D draw a perpendicular line DE on the axis OX uh, so here we will get DE which represent uh, shear stress and here we, uh, we are getting this OE which is representing the normal stresses. DE represent tau and the OE represent sigma. So from that diagram we can find out CD equal to CA here you can see in this diagram CD equal to CA that is equivalent to sigma x minus sigma y by 2. Second DE is equivalent to that is CD sin 2 theta that is equivalent to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta. We are taking this DE as the shear stress or tangential stress. So this will be tau DE equivalent to tau. And uh, OE is equivalent to OC plus CE. So this will be sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta. This OE we are considering normal stress. So this will be sigma. So uh, from the stress circle, uh, this shear stress is maximum when uh, this angle 2 theta will be 90 or the theta will be 45. So here uh, if we put this value so we will get the maximum shear stress uh, that is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 and uh, the shear stress is above the axis so it is negative. I, I told you in the sign convention uh, this uh, shear stress will be negative here uh, because it is plotting above the axis. So in the stress system, shear stress has been, has been shown in the 
clockwise direction. So this was the Moha circle for two like stresses. And here resultant stress which is represented by OD sigma R and uh, it make an angle phi with the direction of normal stress or sigma. The next case is the construction of Moha circle for two unlike stresses. Here you can see a diagram of stress system. In this diagram we are considering two stresses sigma x and sigma y. Sigma x we are considering as tensile stress. So it will be positive as per the sign convention I discussed in the uh, previous case. And the sigma y will be compressive stress, so it will be negative. So we have to find out the stresses on a plane normal to which make an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction with the direction of sigma x. So for the calculation or to find out the normal stress and shear stress, uh, we have to draw a Mohr circle here. So for the construction of Mohr circle, we have to follow some steps uh, which is similar to the previous case. First step for the construction of Mohr circle is just uh, mark an origin O. After marking the origin O, just mark OA is which is equivalent to sigma x at some scale to the right side of the origin O and sigma y as OB at the left side of the origin O. See why? Because OA is, we are taking sigma x is positive. So OA will be at the right side of the origin as per the sign convention and the OB which is equivalent to sigma y is at the left side of the origin O. After marking OA and OB, uh, we have AB. So mark a midpoint of AB which is C. So here OC will be sigma x minus sigma y by 2. Here if we consider sigma x is greater than uh, sigma y, so the C will be at the right side of the origin O, otherwise it will be at the left side. Now at point C in anti-clockwise direction with the angle 2 theta draw a radius vector cd this cd is equal to ca we uh, you can see in the diagram this cd is equal to ca or ac so it will be sigma x plus sigma y by 2 the cd is equivalent to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 now uh, from point d draw a perpendicular de to the x axis. So this DE will represent the shear stress or tau and this OE in the diagram OE will represent the normal stress or sigma. So uh, we can say the position of point E is clearly defined the direction of normal stress or sigma. If it is at the right side of the origin in that condition uh, the direction of sigma will be same as the direction of sigma x. So for this stress system, the normal stress sigma will be positive because it is tensile and uh, the shear stress tau will be negative because it is marking uh, above the x-axis. Now here uh, OD will represent the resultant stress and it is making an angle phi with the direction of uh, sigma and an angle alpha with the direction of sigma x. So this was the construction of Mohr circle for two unlike stresses. The next case uh, for the plane stresses, construction of Mohr circle uh, for the plane stresses I will discuss in another lecture. Thank you.